If you're looking for a great combination between strength training and conditioning training, sled work is one of the best ways to go. A challenging part of adding in sled work into your routine is do you have the space? Do you have the weights? Do you have all the options available for yourself? Well, the team at Torque Fitness created the M1 tank to create a compact and weightless version of a sled that actually might be the answer to all of your questions. Now, does the M1 tank actually prove to be as awesome as it says it is? Let's find out. When it comes to most training, we end up seeing something called axial stress. If I were to do a barbell back squat, that means that the barbell has to rest on the top of my spine and my spine has to accommodate and compress in order to hold that weight. When I'm doing sled work, because the weight is in front of me, there is no stress between the back outside of the muscles being active to stabilize your body, which makes it a great option for people. Now, when it comes down to the M1 tank, the main feature they try to drive out is that it is a weightless type of setup. And what they use is variable resistance via mag force in the front wheel of the mechanism. The harder you push into the wheel and the sled, the harder it's going to push back into you. When I first started using the tank, I was very skeptical of it, to be honest. I didn't know how I couldn't add on a bunch of plates. I was wondering why it only maxed out at 245 pounds. Now, in order to do this, you need to have some weight on the sled. That's gonna ground it so that front wheel maintains contact. But outside of that, all the force that you put into it is all the force that it puts back into you. You can vary the resistance from neutral to a one, two, or three setting. Three is gonna be as difficult as it goes, and the neutral setting is almost no weight at all. So parents can work with their kids and have a nice little family outing where everyone can use a sled, but if you wanna crank up the energy on your own, you can push it up to a level three, and you can really start sweating it out when it comes down to it. Now, with all my time using the Torque M1 tank, there are a few things that I really, really love about it, and there are a couple things that I wish I could see some improvements on in the future to make this just a more well-rounded product. The first thing I love about it is it is lightweight. The lightweight part about it means that in just the 67 pounds of work that you have, you can put all the force and energy that you want to in it. It is truly a humbling thing when we're talking about the amount of effort you put in is what gets back out of it. The second thing that I love about it is it has a very compact setup, which means it's easy to store away, especially if you are working out in your garage or in your basement or in a small setting and you just simply don't have space to hold these things around on the ground. The last thing I love about it is because of the wheels, it makes it an all-terrain sled. For most sleds, traditionally, you have to be on some type of slick surface, such as a turf setup. With this sled, you can do it on asphalt, you can do it in your driveway, you can go in the grass, you can go on dirt, you can go wherever you want to and accomplish the same task. Some of the limits when it comes to training is knowing, do I have the right surface for this? With the M1 tank, that is no longer a question because of the wheel setup and how it's configured. Now, when it comes down to the M1 tank, there are a couple of things that I wish could be improved upon to make sure that you're able to get the most out of this piece of equipment. Number one is if you want any of the accessories, you have to buy them additionally on top of that. That price can start to add up very quickly if you wanna get the full experience of what the M1 tank brings to the table. The second area that I would work on, while it is bi-directional, it's unidirectional if you wanna do the same type of push. On the back end is the handles where you have a medium and a high handle setup to push forward. I always suggest that people work with a high handle setup and then integrate themselves to a lower handle setup because it becomes increasingly difficult as you get lower to the ground because now you're becoming parallel with the force that you're trying to produce. With this sled, you unfortunately don't have that option. So you have to push on one handles one way, and if you were to push it back the other direction, you can, but you have to go to the low anchored system setup in order to do that. And for me, that's quite problematic because it means that if I have somebody that is at a intermediate to novice level of training, we have to push it and then wait for it to go back to its starting position. Which then brings it to the other option where you might say, hey, well, why don't you just turn it around? The third thing that I would change is that you unfortunately can't easily turn it around. Because the front wheel has resistance in it and it's not able to maneuver side to side, you have to then pick up the front end of it and spin it around just to bring it back the other direction. 
This also might be one of those issues where if I was pushing in a straight line and I have the potential to run into something, I have to stop in the middle of my sled push to then maneuver it just a little bit to then bring it back on the line that I want to, which in the middle of a workout when you're already exhausted and you're not trying to adjust these little things, it becomes a little bit of a pain that I would try and avoid moving forward. Now, if we're looking at the M1 tank, who is this best for? This is best for somebody that wants a full body workout. If you wanna challenge yourself sprinting or lunging or dragging or anything that has to do with knee health and hip health, this is a great option for you. This is not for the person that's looking to pack on muscle mass or build extra strength or just the novice brand new exerciser. While sled training is a great add-on for people and a great complement to somebody's program, I don't think that purchasing the M1 tank is going to revolutionize or change your program as is. And if you're looking to build on muscle mass, as I discussed before, this is a concentric only motion, which means you're not gonna be able to tap into both ends of muscle contraction. So ideally you might be better suited for general fitness strength training versus going to something like the M1 tank that'll put you through more of a conditioning type of aspect. Overall, it's an amazing piece. I just think it's dependent on who the person is that's using it. What do you think of the M1 tank? Do you think that it sets the standard for what you're gonna be using from a sled? Do you think it's an awesome option to traditional sled training? Let us know in the comment sections and if there's any other piece of equipment you want us to review on here, let us know that as well.